for years, my favorite video game was Risk of Rain 1, and my favorite character in Risk of Rain 1, or Survivor, was the chef. If you've been around the community for a little while, which to be honest, I haven't really, so I don't know why I even mentioned that, Chef is a beloved character, and it's in big part because they're just so goofy. Your primary fire is this cleaver that you throw, and it's a boomerang cleaver. It comes back to where you're standing, and it'll deal more damage on the way back. You can see right here, uh, unless the wisp completely dodges me, I'm, uh, I kind of got outfragged there. Uh, it's a pretty neat mouse one, and you can kind of uh, you can kind of see if you start stacking up some attack speed, how that sound can get very, very satisfying. It doesn't have any ammunition, it doesn't have any reload, so you can just shoot these off. And the more time that you spend stacking all of these on the opponent and the more hits that it gets, the more satisfying, like I said, it is. This is a very nice shot. I'm gonna hope I get a, an executive card for that. This is a mod. This is a mod put in the game. Chef, I think now with Gearbox owning uh, Risk of Rain 2 is a bit of a pipe dream. This is a mod made by Gnome, and it's very well done. It's one of the best character mods I've seen for this game. But let's go over these abilities really quick, because the way they interact with each other is quite neat, and you might have noticed I haven't used my utility yet, so let's do that right here. It's this nice oil that gets put on the ground. Now this oil can debuff enemies, and if you shoot it with your mouse too, which is this little oven, I, I don't know if I can see it because you turn around when you use ability, but this little front little, <laughs> little oven there actually opens up. Yeah, you can see kind of there if I, if I move to the side. Uh, and if you shoot this fire onto this oil, it turns into flaming oil. And, and this can really start to hurt enemies quite a bit. You can see right there the burn stacks uh, are loading up a little bit. Or, or stacking up, I should say. I don't want to say stacking up because I just said stack. Uh, let's see what I get out of here. I don't know if I'll be able to kill these guys very efficiently. And this is like honestly one of the best items I could have gotten. The light sight cell. Because this is going to buff up or give me one extra charge of second helping. This is my special ability. So we've seen the primary fire like this. Secondary fire is that blast. Uh, tertiary move is this oil. It's nice, nice movement. You can also use it to cancel out fall damage uh, as well. Second helping buffs all of these moves. So yeah, you can get a giant cleaver, just barrage coming out. Uh, you can get an advanced fire blast that makes all of these orbs of fire come out uh, and just completely decimate enemies. You can imagine that's very good in the teleporter event against a big boss that gets hit by all of these. Uh, and then you can also use it to make yourself go way, way faster and way further with all of this oil. You can see those enemies can get coated in oil, and then if they're coated in oil, they're standing in the oil, they're gonna start exploding. So very, very neat character. And these sounds, some people think they're a bit annoying, I can imagine. Oh, also the neat little tech there. If you already have flaming oil and you use the oil on it again, you can just continue on and on and on. And second helping also completely uh, removes the cooldown of your ability. So the fact that I got an extra charge means I'm just gonna be zooming across this map. Very, very satisfying character. Again, very, very well done mod. Thank you so much to the Risk of Rain 2 modding community. Some amazing people there. Uh, and yeah, Risk of Rain, very great game. I recommend playing it if you haven't already, because especially now that the, the new one, the Risk of Rain Returns is in the works, in progress, I recommend giving it a go. I remember in middle school, I think I've mentioned this in a couple of videos now, I would just play Risk of Rain uh, all day long. I was dealing with some not great stuff. It was a nice way to escape. And I'd just be listening to Vsauce videos in the background. So I have this really strange association with Risk of Rain and Vsauce. I, I don't see any equipment barrels, which is an unfortunate uh, <laughs> unfortunate thing, because I would love to get some more of those bleed stacks. Or I, I, I guess I should say an additional bleed stack, so I'm probably going to end up taking that. Uh, I should avoid these wisps. And my aim is not the greatest. Luckily, this is a projectile. Its hitbox is pretty huge, and I can, uh, can kind of get away with not the greatest aim and, and still be able to succeed. Now, there I should have used this before using uh, the second helping. We can see right here. Also, my chef's hat gets way bigger when you use it, canceling fall damage right there. Quite nice, and if there's a lot of enemies chasing you, you can use it like that, and then just blast this, set them on fire. It's pretty nice. I, I'm not a fan of the items that I'm encountering so far, though. This is... I, I, like, can't find anything. Is it just this map? Does this map just have nothing? Oh, can I actually make it over there? I think I can. Okay, some, some, nice, uh, some nice little... I don't even know. Surfing movement there. Defensive item, pretty good. I do have a lot of damage, so don't really need too much of that right away because you can see right here if I hit these guys directly just going to explode stacking on a bunch of uh, a bunch of that flames a bunch of that fire like I said and I'm really happy I got that slice light cell because it's gonna make moving around the map 
very, uh, very convenient. Let me just actually start this boss fight right away. Um, that is a terrible idea. Why don't I get more items first? Okay, I'm gonna get more items first. No, I'm not. Also, if you've been watching these videos for a little while, if this is your first time here, welcome. Welcome, welcome. I, uh, I quite enjoy not waiting for the boss and not standing in circles. I'm not the most patient person. You can see the damage just stacking up there. Um, just, just so much, so much damage right away. We'll see actually if I do this and I do the powered up version of the mouse too. That's going to do a lot too. It just, it just blasted this guy um, way, way far away. So no boss, no wait is a mod that I use in order to avoid waiting for the boss. And if I kill the boss, the teleporter event is just over. I found an updated version of the mod though that adds on any time left in the teleporter to your uh, to your to your timer, and so it's not like oh I'm just going to kill the boss right away and then the game is way easier because I'm progressing really fast. Uh, it's going to add on that time, so hopefully it maintains some of the difficulty. Of course, it's not a perfect solution because let's say you're fighting the boss outside of the area and that allows you to get an advantage that you wouldn't have otherwise. I'm okay with that though, you know, it's a single player game, I'm fine with tailoring it to my experience, I don't really judge anyone for how they play or anything like that, unless they, I don't know, I don't know why I said unless, I was gonna try to make a joke there, but I don't think I know enough about the Risk Rain 2 community to like, I don't know, do people hate Artificer players? I don't know, I don't know, in Brawlhalla I would say Taros, but we're not in the Brawlhalla lands. Not the greatest stage one, but I got some good items. I, I like this wax quail, it's quite nice. And yeah, I do hope that this uh, this cleaver is not the loudest thing in the world to you. That's crazy. I mean, I might as well just use it, right? I, if I see if I see someone here, I might as well. Defiant gouge, using a shrine summons enemies nearby. I don't think I've ever used that item in my life. Uh, and, and today won't be the first day. Okay, well, we're off to a pretty good run, it seems like. Uh, I don't know why this always happens for me. I feel like I've said that sentence many a time already. Uh, I can use this. Also, faster scrappers, excellent mod. Basically, if you're wondering what mods I use, generally speaking, it's stuff to make things go by faster. <laughs> I'm not the most patient person in the world, although there is an option to make the chests instant, but I like the little time that it takes for the chest. It's small enough to where it's not too disturbing. We'll see. I'm going to do this right here, get a bit of distance, then do the big blast, and it's going to release those fireballs where those enemies are standing. You can imagine if there's a lot of enemies coated in oil, each one of those is just going to get uh, those plumes of fire, which that's the correct word I was looking for earlier. Um, a radiant pearl to start off the run. I'm feeling great. I'm feeling great about this, and I'm gonna lose... Am I gonna lose my HP enough for this? What is it, 25%? No, I'm fine. We'll see. Can I kill all of these little guys with this right away? Maybe. Safer space is excellent. All right. This is shaping up to be a great run. Shaping up to be a fantastic one. I hope you guys enjoy the, the modded character runs. This is my first time doing one of these, I think? Probably. I have a lot on the docket. There's a lot of modded characters in Risk- like, what are these items? Uh, in Risk of Rain 2 that are fantastic. I'm gonna give you a bit of a spoiler, a bit of a hint. I think my next one is gonna be the Scavenger mod, where you play as the enemy, the scavenger, like the hardest, most powerful seeming enemy in the game. Yeah, you can play as those guys. It, it, it's a pretty crazy one, um, but th that's coming up next. I do really love some of the character mods in Risk of Rain 2. I don't think they're necessarily the most balanced uh, a lot of the time, or most of the time, but I also feel like if you're already like, hey, I'm, I'm gonna play a mod and you're gonna say like a thousand times in one video, then then uh, you're, you're already a kind of like, oh, I'm gonna design a, a custom uh, gameplay session for myself, and, and so it's okay. It's fine with me. And like I said before, what is happening? Okay, whatever. The, the modded community in this game is incredible. Some of the mods that I've played, item mods and everything, are so impressive. It, it's it's honestly so cool. I mean, coming from a game like Brahalla where mods, uh, while they are very, very cool, they're definitely a lot more in the background, just because uh, of the fact that it's more difficult to create mods like that for a competitive uh, multiplayer game and, and it being fair and balanced. Like here, you can just create anything, make it the most unbalanced thing in the world, like perhaps Scavenger. And it's, and it's just fun. It's just great. Look at the timer, by the way. 10.34 into 11.46. So that's that neat little uh, neat little thing. I'm like, I'm cheating. I'm just cheating, I think, is, is the answer here. And I love that cleaver move. That was my favorite thing to do in Risk Room 1, is this powered up cleaver, where you just send a billion out. If there's like a wandering vagrant and you're stacked against them, it's very satisfying. I should have looked for this uh, equipment barrel beforehand, but I don't think I would have recycled anything anyway, so it's fine. And I got a pre-on. Fantastic. Uh, no point in searching for the blue orb there. 
There is a good- the, the good point in searching for this, though. Are those fireworks ever gonna hit that, by the way? I've, like, never tested that. I almost just died <laughs> to these little guys. Alright, we're gonna coat them in oil, and we're just gonna, uh... Act like the United States there and pretend like that was not our fault. Okay, moving on I think to the next stage unless I see something pretty quickly here Although I have not explored at all and given that I have all this movement. It's worth it Yeah, you can see how impatient of a player I am why I unsold these mods because I'm not like perusing the map for literally free items because I have three hundred and six dollars Why would I not spend them? I don't know. Uh, what do I want here? I will take a sticky bomb. I will take a sticky bomb. I feel good on movement. I feel great on movement. So I don't, I don't really think I need that much more right away at the very least. And I think there were a couple chests in this area that I did not have the funds for. Yeah, there's one. Is that it? Is there, is there one behind a little bit? This focus crystal, not the greatest for a range character, but if I use this move, that's going to be some, some wonky damage. So, all right. I think I'm good. I think I'm good. I feel comfortable. Ooh, there is a scrapper though. I am so sorry. Uh, what do I want to scrap? To be honest, not very much. I'll scrap the fireworks. I do want to do a fireworks build, and, and I just said that's going to be good, but I'd rather have something else. Um, yeah, I, I have a very... Uh, I have some neat builds lined up. I have a lot of ideas for Risk of Rain 2 videos because I have... Well, I haven't made videos on Risk of Rain 2 for very long or very many, very often, and so, you know, nothing's really stale. So build videos, something like a, uh, a fireworks build with the remote caffeinator and, and the pocket ICBM... That, uh, that seems like a fun idea. I might do one of those, or maybe like a squid polyp build with the, uh, with the caffeinator, where uh, I use like one of the, <laughs> one of the worst items in the game, theoretically, technically, I don't know, um, and then actually use it to win. So stuff like that is, is on the docket for me. I apologize for there not being that many videos and, and it being sporadic, but such is the way. I think I'm going to put this one up like, really soon. I have some videos lined up. That looks like a fantastic shop I would love a card for. And uh, I do have some videos on the back burner. I have a, uh, a Benthic Bloom run that I recorded in January. I have a Heretic run that I recorded in January. I just haven't had the time to, to actually do the process of editing. Man, I would love an executive card. That is, like, the one thing that would make this run go absolutely insane. I mean, like, what are these shops? What, what is going on? Um, yeah, so I think I'm gonna put this one up before those, even though timeline wise it doesn't make sense So if you hear me in those other videos talking about anything that I haven't played I haven't made a video in a while. It's true. It's true There's just a bit of time discrepancy in, in these here parts and, and that's why but I feel like egg stew has been AFK for far too long <laughs> Oh my god, I actually am just cheating uh, And so I should put something up bison steak printer. I mean, I guess I am a chef. It, it's fine. Um, uh, any equipment barrels to be found? I don't see it. There's like, I mean, I, I, this is like my favorite item in the game. I love sticky bombs. Sticky bombs used to be, and this is not a joke, like actually unironically, the single greatest item in the entire game. <laughs> it got nerfed, but I remember those days fondly. And, uh, and I will pick sticky bombs still because it does total damage. Total damage is like, there's some math equation that, that in the game that makes total damage like really powerful. I don't exactly know how it works. I'm not a beacon of knowledge. That's not very apparent. I do also like these safer spaces because it means I can just like go into the opponent's range and do this without worrying about getting hit. Though I guess it, it already faded away, so I still should be worried about getting hit. And I got an opal and safer spaces, just defense combo. Man, what actually is this run? <laughs> Like, it's every single item, every single one is just fantastic. I mean, this is great because I can use this giant blast and deal a billion damage. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know what to say. I actually don't know what to say. Um, and I was about to, I was about to go, this is going to be the one that's not great. And then it was anyway. Okay, I guess my shrine luck hasn't been the greatest. And, and executive card luck hasn't been the greatest either. But at this point, like, do I really need it? Is it going to save the run? I don't think so. I, like the run is the run is already going so well I, And I was just talking about the caffeinator. Why not just combine runs? Why not just combine it with like everything I was saying before? No, no, I want to make it. I want to make it specialized I want to make a specialized caffeinator run today won't be the day But I do prefer it over the prion so I'm gonna keep it for now. All right, maybe maybe it is time to buy some of these buy some of these uh, multi shops Might as well. I got safer spaces. I can afford to take that damage 276 I got the money for that. Like, 
when is it there at some point the streak is gonna stop but how many items in a row has it been that are just absurd i mean i might as well take this right now i grinded so hard for these lunar coins every time i part with one it really hurts me but sometimes if you got a good run you just you just want to you just want to explore a little bit about what the lunar shop has to offer you know and, and select the alloy worship unit to fight. I would really love to fight that guy, to be honest with you. Because uh, hearing the sound of these cleavers just hitting it over and over and over again sounds like a great time. Uh, it's such a big target flying in the air, and it's not. I'm not. I'm not gonna burn it. <laughs> I couldn't speak there for a second. Uh, I don't even know what I'm doing. I'm just building up money at this point to uh, to buy some of these items. All right, what do I want to prioritize in uh, in some of those multi shops? I do think I want to get some of that speed, a little bit more speed. I know I mentioned I'm good on speed, but that was before. This is now. All right, now we are in Rome. Where, where, where do you think a scrapper might be? I would love to see that as well. Um, I mean, might as well. Safer spaces back up. 121 gold. And here I'm taking crit glasses. As much as I love those two, I don't think that I'm gonna get a card, and I would prefer the 20% crit. Um, I think part of why my damage is so absurd is because I have this pearl. I kind of forgot that I got that too. <laughs> What is happening? I'm at 30% crit, actually. I didn't even know this increased crit chance. I guess it's every stat, right? So that makes sense. Does it do bleed as well? I don't think it would, right? Uh, no bleed. No bleed. Uh, I do have one of those tri-tips, though. So that's fine. Imagine it increased, like, luck by, like, 1%. That would be cool. There is an item in a mod. I forgot what mod it is. It's called, like, the scratch ticket. It increases your, your chances of things by 1%. It's a pretty interesting item. Pretty broken item, to be honest, but it's fun to use. A lot of, a lot of stuff that's broken. It's pretty fun, you know? That tends to be how things go, oftentimes, especially in online multiplayer person versus person games. Uh, how do I kill this thing? What do I want to use? Can I coat this in oil? I can coat this in oil. I wonder, oil counts as a debuff or death mark, right? It must, yeah, because. Look at that damage! Look at that damage! That's crazy! That's actually crazy. Oh, I should have waited to, to coat in oil before I did that. Um, they're gonna die to this. They're actually- I didn't even get to hit- What Was that an ATG? I didn't even get to shoot them. I don't even know what just hit them. Um, yeah, I'm fragging out is, is the real answer. Maybe it was a sticky bomb? Yeah. Um, Warhorn. Okay, finally, we've got ourselves a bit of a stinker. A bit of a stinker. But it's like, it's not even a problem. It's not even an issue. Um, is this worth 256? Is this, is there, are there any other chests? Do I want to explore more? Did I just miss a multi shop? This is the problem with me like saving items to buy for later. I mean, that's just perfect. That's just perfect. And we're back. Is that I forget where stuff is and then I, and I start thinking, do I really want to search for it? And the answer is always no. Um, I didn't miss there. That was your monitor lagged a little bit. YouTube had a glitch there. All right, let's go to this blue portal. Hopefully, it's not going to be Sundered Grove because that would hurt my feelings. Oh, I can get this. It doesn't matter. I'm going to the portal. Okay. I was like, oh, I'm missing up on, I'm missing out on the chance to get gold for the next stage. Does not matter at all. Um, I, <laughs> it's not the run. It's not the run for it, but I, you know, I thought about it. Can I coat Newt? I can't, like every enemy is, is vulnerable to this oil. It's great. I think I have a mod where Newt has five times the HP. So I don't know if I'm going to get teleported very easily, or maybe I don't have it installed. I don't know. I don't know what I have and what I don't have. I do know I have no boss, no wait, which is probably my favorite thing in the world, to be honest with you. I'm gonna avoid that. I'm at 50% HP spawning in here. I'm on Eclipse 1 because this is the first time I'm playing Eclipse on uh, on this guy. You guys recommended for me to- Oh my god, I actually almost just died and threw the entire run. I am glad I got sent, <laughs> sent out there. Um, I'm a great player. You can see that I'm not the most Eclipse gamer <laughs> out there because I would have already lost. A little bit. Um, what am I actually doing? I got so overconfident. This run is not one. Here's the thing. It's a great run, but it's not one. Actual bars. Uh, you guys recommended for me to try Eclipse. And so I've just begun. I actually, I won my first ever Eclipse run a little while ago. I was playing Artificer, who I never ever play. And I figure Artificer is probably my worst character. So why not start my Eclipse journey with them so I can improve. And, uh, and it went pretty well. I had a good time. So... Thank you to everyone who recommended that. That was that was that was fun. Yeah, the interesting thing with how this boomerang works is you kind of want to stay in a similar area. You know what I mean? Like you don't want to go too far out because then the boomerang's gonna miss them the second time around. So I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I guess it's you don't always need to have both hits to be optimal. You can also like, opt <laughs> I jumped straight into that. Optimize the range so that you're hitting them like twice right away. 
Um, some advanced chef tech. Any chef mains? Any chef mains? Uh, I do still want a better equipment, to be honest with you. That would be, that would make my day. What is, what is lurking over here? Any chest to sniff out? Any, uh, I mean, I said squid paw up in caffeinator earlier. I did say that. I did say that. I'm hoping for a good red here. Hunter's harpoon. Honestly, I kind of like this item. It's like, it's, it's a weird item, but I kind of like it. I like the little burst of speed. It makes me feel happy. It gives me like a burst of dopamine. So I'll take it. I'll take it. Uh, it's really, really fun on Railgunner. Because like you're just scoping out, specifically with the, the primary mouse one, the main mouse one. Because you're like killing someone with a headshot like, in like one shot. And then you scope out and instantly kill them. I'm glad I'm getting that power elixir back. Replenishing my supply. And uh, I gotta get some more items, I think. The RNG was really... <laughs> oh my god. The RNG continues to be really good, but it won't last forever, and if I continue making dumb mistakes... I, I can continue to make dumb mistakes indefinitely, I suppose, because I was just gifted another life. Alright, well, I don't know if I necessarily want that over something that's going to make me more powerful. Like, uh, I don't know. <laughs> A behemoth would be great, to be honest, because I missed out on it in that shop. Uh, the best thing, of course, would be a clover, especially for my build right now, but yeah, I'm gonna hold off in case there's a recycler, which I don't think there is. I have a really hard time spotting equipment barrels in general. Um, that's, that's one of my main problems. Oh, you can also get, I forgot to even mention, you can get a boost of momentum with, uh, with this. So you can also use it to, to jump up a little bit if you don't have a hopu feather that you got. Um, without even wanting one. <laughs> or needing one, I suppose. And here it is. 60,000 HP. This might be... We'll see if I can code it. Yeah, there we go. And if this is gonna hit... Uh, maybe I can get it to, like, bump into the wall. And that way it'll just, like, instantly die. That would, that would be honestly great. Um, I don't know if I could do that. I'm gonna try to stand on its head. And then use the powered up mouse, too. And we'll see if I can... Almost got it, like, to push into the floor. Okay. This is the plan. This is the idea. Well, I mean, look at this. Oh, that's so. <gasps> what am I doing? What am I doing? What am I doing? What am I doing? I'm like, I'm trying to play and I'm trying to make. I'm trying to feel satisfied and I don't know, just, I'm making dumb choices. I'm making dumb. If I throw this run, I don't think I'll ever forgive myself. So um, maybe I pick up the Dios now. <laughs> you know, maybe maybe I'm feeling like I should pick up the Dios a little. <gasps> what happened there? Like, why did I get so much momentum? Is the hunter's harpoon in the middle of um? It was probably the hunter's harpoon in the middle of my dash. You know. I think just to play it safe, we can all agree that is the right play. That is the right play. And now I can continue to be stupid and not worry. I was afraid of fall damage there. And then I took fall damage anyway. <laughs> Did not matter. Did not matter in the slightest. Okay. Uh, they're going to get the 50% HP and start doing the, the wacko thing where they get a, a billion uh, shield. Yep, there it is. And I can just avoid this without worry. If I keep my cooldowns on, on lock, you know, keep cycling through them, it should be okay. Here. Um... Okay. <laughs> I was gonna say I'm gonna try to do these like circles so that I may stay on its head while I'm moving really fast with this like that. Um, I don't think Chef was meant to be in the game. It, it was it Brainstalks? I see Brainstalks. Honestly, not the biggest fan. But at the same time, it gives me like infinite oil. So not upset to be frank with you. Um. Yeah, I don't know. I'm kind of down, to be honest with you. I'm down for brain stocks. Let's go. Let's do it. Also, I gotta say, one of my favorite things about Risk of Rain 2, Risk of Rain 1 as well, but less so due to the just limitations of the number of pixels on the screen, the fact that items are attached to your character, oh, I am, oh, I am, <laughs> I'm gonna coat this entire map in fire. It was here this whole time. In fire. Please don't be a recycler. I am going to be, okay. That's, that's fine. You know what? I want this. Imagine I do that giant burst of flames. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see. I see a combination. I see a combination that's viable here. Um, and, a, and a third wax quail. To be honest, didn't really need that, but... Okay, I want to skip pillars. I want to skip pillars. I would love the ability to skip pillars. Okay. And it didn't work that time. I don't understand. Um, okay. How did I do that? Like, how did... How did... Okay, that's how. It's like rolling a barrel. You just gotta land at it at the right angle. Okay. Like, you gotta... I don't know. I I don't know. It, it's it's some weird angle. I, I gotta learn how to roll barrels. I, like... It, it's a struggle for me. I really don't know how to do it very well. So... Oh my god. Oh my... What is happening? 
If I kill something that's an elite, wait, I, I gotta wait for an elite to spawn. I gotta try this out. I gotta try this out. Uh, unless it doesn't spawn in the next, like, two seconds, because I can just do it next level. And I'm going to forget is, is, is the answer, but... Yeah, that, that's gonna bump into the wall for sure. But I had an idea. You probably have an inkling of what the idea is, but I had an idea. I honestly don't need more gold. That's not the greatest green. I would love a scrapper anytime soon. What is this? Gorst Home. I could use one of those right now, to be honest with you. Unfortunate. Couldn't part with any greens. All right, um, Sky Meadow. Didn't really want this map, to be honest. Not that I had a choice. And where's my sound? Don't know where my sound is. There's another caffeinator. What, like, what, what, where, actually, where's my sound? Maybe the music is just amping up. I don't know. That could be useful, to be honest with you. I don't know how much it's gonna help against the old Mythy boy, but we'll see. I can just afford to do that. I should have waited for the little, little men to spawn. That's okay, I'm gonna push you off. I'm pushing you off. See ya! Peace! I probably shouldn't have done that. Gups get you so much money. That's okay. I'm actually gonna throw this again, aren't I? That's okay. I mean, look at- look- look at the- just the beauty. The- the beauty of all of these plumes. Of fire. Of oil. And- and, and raining down death and destruction on these- To be honest, these monsters are innocent. Like, what did they do? Aren't I, like, invading them? I guess I spawned into the map, like, with a bison stake. So, maybe I'm one of the monsters. Maybe I'm just fighting back. Please, please, please let me skip to Mithrix, okay? That <laughs> syringe? I'd love a syringe. Throw these faster? Don't mind if I do. Don't mind if I do. I, I need to kill an elite now. Um, forgot about that. Like I said, I would. Also, a neat little touch is this powered-up mouse, too. It's a blue flame. So, that's pretty cool. Um, I, I think I need a fuel cell now, right? Can I make it? Wow, I'm really good at jumping directly into those enemies' line of fire. That's great. Uh, 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 um, 496 can definitely afford that. Yeah, I don't know if I can skip all the way up here with just this. Maybe if I stall with my mouse too? I don't know. There's like some area you can land on, I know, on the big pillar. But I don't know exactly where that is, to be frank with you. So... Um, nobody's gonna get caught by that. Well, either way, it's worth stacking up some items while I can. Maybe this will give me, uh, a fuel cell or something. Uh, this will not. Alright, I got to- I gotta find something to make it so I don't have to wait in circles. That would be fantastic. I don't know if no boss, no wait works. I don't think it does with, uh, pillars. Cause it's not like there's a boss to kill. What is this? Repulsion armor plate. Uh, I'm okay. Alright, what do I want out of this? To be honest, like, most things would be totally fine. I missed every single shot. Needle tick? How much bleed do I have? I only have one bleed. I can't really stack it up that quickly. Yeah, I'm, I'm down for needle tick. I'm down for needle tick. Why not? Some delayed blast of explosion. I'm honestly- needle tick is one of my- uh, I, I thought it was super cool when Survivors of the Board- Board? <laughs> Survivors of the Board came out. But, uh, not so much now. It's fallen off in my favor, or in my eyes. In my favor, is that is that a term? I don't know. 414. I probably shouldn't have jumped over here. Uh, there is also that shrine where I can summon more enemies. I am a bit worried, though, to be honest with you. Should I be, should I be concerned, or should I play with confidence? I'm gonna play with confidence. <laughs> I, I gotta stop playing with confidence. I'm just, I just, I don't know, don't know what's gonna spawn. Brass contraptions, parents. Oh, that's fine. That's fine. These guys are on the ground. Anything on the ground is like way better for me because I can just do this um, biggie blast. Let's see. Go into the oil. Thank you very much. And look at that damage. Look at that damage. Just beautiful. Just, just magnificent. They weren't coded. That was, um, it's not really worth using the blast on the enemies if they're not coded, you know? What's the point? You don't get the damage bonus. You don't get the buff. Okay, now's my time. <laughs> oh, yeah. That is the strat. That is the strat. I am so happy I got brain socks, actually. All right, all right, all right. I got the money. I got sufficient money. I don't got to worry about you guys anymore. All I'm doing is just racking up the time, making it more difficult for myself. Um, uh, I don't need a gorse tome. I don't need a gorse tome. I have a second jump. Don't know why I did that. Don't know why I looked away. More attack speed, more move speed. That's great. I'm down for that. I'm down for that. It'll, that'll make my magma egg quicker, right? Probably. What is this called? Volcanic egg. Magma egg. It's close enough. These won't help me, so... I mean, Blast Shower is good in a boss fight, but... It's good to reset my cooldowns for uh, for the bands. 
It's not gonna get me there. You know, I, I wanna get there quickly. Oh, also, these like, what is this? Shattering justice? I mean, over brain stalks, I'm down. I like never see red 3D printers either. What is this run? Like what, what, what is it? I forgot this guy was here. Um, can I kill him fast enough? Is it worth this fighting and like potentially dying to the big ol' explosion blast that he's gonna do, the big ol' sun? I think so, because it's already almost dead. Uh, I am broken. <laughs> I am like actually broken. Okay, maybe I do want to get rid of this brain socks. I would love a scrapper. That's that's what I would like. Um, don't need either of those, so I would love a scrapper even more. I have safer spaces. Okay, now I can kill this guy. Wungus? I'll take Wungus. I don't really have healing, right? I have Harvester's Sight. That's pretty much my healing. Uh, stun grenade's not bad. Not terrible, I guess. I still probably would scrap it, given the build I have right now, but... Man, okay, scrapper I, I, I certainly need. I would love a eccentric base. An eccentric base, rather. Don't know if I'm gonna find it. We'll see. I'm, I'm pretty hungry, so I, I'm pretty antsy to finish off this run. It's, uh, it's 5 p.m. I have yet to eat today. It's not a great sign that I started recording this instead of eating, but I don't, I don't make the best choices, as seen by my engagement combat, co combat behavior. So what was that? There was like a, I don't know why the text above that head was different. It was like deep orange or something. Is it because I did the powered up version? I don't know. I don't know, 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 I don't know. Just fine. Give me, give me a couple more chests. Let me explore this down below area. And then, and then I think I'm good. I think I'm good to fight the big boss. If I end up doing, okay. Okay. If I end up doing pillars, I'll, I'll just cut it out. I don't want to, I don't want to make you guys wait, you know? I want this to be, I want this to be, I don't know what I want it to be. I don't know what I want to be, you know? Something we all gotta think about and live with, but do we have the answers? Who knows? Uh, this is a repulsion armor plate, right? I'll, I'll get one of those laser drones, why not? And I think that's pretty good. I didn't get like a key or anything, so nothing else to, to look for. Did I already get these chests? No, I didn't. Okay. Maybe uh, maybe I should explore a bit more. You know, a little cheat code for Risk Rain 2 is if you're- <gasps> Okay. <laughs> Well, maybe now I should get an equipment, I think, a little bit, and I'm certainly doing pillars, 100%. If you're ever struggling with, like... Okay. I don't... <laughs> I don't know what's happening here. I shouldn't have picked this up, actually, because I'm down to scrap the Dio's for Shattering Justice, and it was a 50... Like, hello? Hello? Isn't this item, like, really good against Mythrix or something? I've, I've actually never used it. Like, on purpose. I think I've scrapped it before, actually. I think on release, it, like, Mythrix got it and, like, killed you or something? I, I can't remember. I, I never use spare drone parts. Okay, what is this run, though? We got a red 3D printer. A multiple reds out of normal chests. Like, the greatest combination of early items. And, uh... And just surviving when I really, really shouldn't have. I don't know. I don't know. Game wants me to win. I don't know what to say. I did throw away my equipment. I have to get one of those before I forget. I want to kill any lead here so I can just... <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> Alright, that's a boss fight. Nice. Well done. Well played. Thank you very much. Th thanks for coming, you know. Is this Deathmark? <laughs> okay. Do I have four even? I don't know. I know oil is one. I, uh, do I have four? I have ice, which won't really last. I don't think I have four. Uh, that's fine. Deathmark on a longer run would be great. Uh, what am I going to pick up here then? Well, I think I want this so I can get a double. Okay, imagine. I have two of these. Two second helpings, right? So I can do two big ol' secondary blasts of these. One of them will activate the band. Then I blast shower. Oh, it is the harpoon that gives me that boost of speed. I blast shower, then activate the, the second one of these. Two Runold's bands in a row of powered up mouse 2. I have a good feeling about this. Mythrix is not really gonna get hit by the by the blasts is, is the problem, like the little plumes of fire, but that's okay. All right, I'll skip ahead to when I'm actually at Mythrix. Actually, let me see what the, the pools are. Oh my God. <laughs> okay, Alrighty. I, I kind of decided not to look at the pools because I figured I'm not gonna trade anything anyway. 
But one of the pillars was at it. I saw there was an Aegis pool. There was a, oh, what is it called? Old guillotine pool. So kind of, kind of, kind of good that I didn't. Kind of good that I didn't. But we're here now. Final boss fight, and I missed every coating of oil. I don't know how I got, or did I just not even do the oil? I don't know. Okay. Anyway, strat, I missed. I missed. I actually just missed. Um, he's like the biggest target in the world. Well, if I try to bait him to go into the flames more, I'm gonna take more damage over time, which is nice. All right, second try at this, and my band is gone. I think an ATG did that. I guess that's fine. I guess that's fine. Having the Hobu Feather and the Mithrix fight is so nice, too. Uh, I do think I'm gonna struggle to get the, the boomerang effect, but we'll see. Right here, and an ATG again. I gotta, like, time my attack better with this cooldown so it doesn't lose it, because I want to get the double combo. I just want to see how much damage it's gonna do. All right, all right, all right. No ATGs to be found. Let's do this coating of oil. Let's do this. And then let's do... Can I get a second coating of oil? No, I guess not. Well, maybe this combo is not as quick as I presumed. Because I won't be able to get the double powered up mouse 2. Because I have to get the cooldown back on this mouse 1. Okay, or, or on this mouse 5. Okay, new strat. I understand the timing now. Gonna wait 4 seconds. And I could use this to get it back. I just want to see the combo. I'm treating him like a like an interactive buddy. <laughs> and I'm just like playing around. Did he kill one of my drones? That's fine. I bought that drone by accident anyway. And where are you? Where are you? Did he cleanse himself? Can he just cleanse by dashing? I think he can. Wow, this is like really being stalled out, isn't it? This is unfortunate. Um, please don't kill me with this. Thank you very much. Okay, he's, he's, he's oiled up. <laughs> or now he's oiled up. Let's do this. Let's use this. Let's use this. And let's use this. That was kind of underwhelming. Actually, that's a lot of damage. That is actually a lot of damage. You know what? I'm, I'm glad I waited. That, that, was, that was, that was satisfying. Kind of flicked there. Didn't need to hit. Uh, don't need to do that double jump actually, because he's not gonna do the send out the blast from that hammer until the third phase, I believe. Leap up. Yeah, not gonna be able to get the KO now. We'll see. Maybe if I can already prep this whole area with oil, he's gonna fall into it or run into it. There we go, and got the band proc off of that, and he should be deceased in uh, in no time. Oh, <laughs> he's not even dead yet. I thought he was dead, so I just, I was just like, oh, he's, he's gonna die in like the next second. I didn't even think that he could hit me. That was a little scary. Um, <laughs> I don't want to talk about that to be honest with you. Let me just kill these chimeras. Luckily, they're staying in a very uh. A very, a very nice flight pattern that makes it easy to get the boomerang, I think. Until they start not doing that and taking back everything I just said. But look at the way these uh, these cleavers are, are just cleaving their health bar. Slicing it up. Very satisfying character. I will say, like I mentioned at the start, I like to reiterate it. Because I know this is like a, someone's creative work, you know? It takes a lot of time. I love this mod. It, it, it's so much fun. And I imagine a lot of people that do mods are like, you know, they're, they're just as passionate about the game as anyone, probably even more. And so I'm sure they, uh, they enjoy that people enjoy what they make. Hopefully that is a, that, that appreciation sounds genuine because it very much is, very much is. All right, let's coat this whole area once again. My cooldown is going to, is he oiled? All right, if, if there's fire on the ground, can they get oiled afterwards? I actually don't think so. I think they have to be coated by it. Yeah, okay. And then we're gonna use that blast shower again. And maybe an ATG here will trigger the- Okay, honestly, insane luck. But how crazy would it be? What are, what are the chances? 10%. 10% chance that off of the proc of the Runald's band of this, and then I use the blast shower, I get an ATG that also proc- Oh, I was off my cleaver. Um, that also procs the the uh, the Reynolds band. That would be actually insane. I I got hit there. Uh, I might die. I gotta stop shooting him. Why why am I not just like running? I don't know. Okay, now I can run. And he just cleansed the oil. That's unfortunate. Cause now yeah I have to use the uh, the powered up version of something. I didn't I didn't want to have to do that there. Him cleansing the oil over and over again is making this more difficult. I will say so. I'll try to get him to to go into it. Is he is he coded? I think he is. I think maybe. I honestly can't tell. I honestly can't tell. Okay, this is a, this is turning out to pretty be a pretty interesting fight. I will say, all this <gasps> he read me so hard. All this cleansing is a uh, is making this interesting. I think he's gonna jump. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm gonna send these out just as preemptive damage, hopefully. Okay, that's good. Got some preemptive damage. Gonna cycle in here. He's gonna do the hammer move. There it is. And blast shower. Second, third. Can I kill him before this move is over? I think I can. I think I can. I think I can. It's like diesel ten. I think I can. I think I can. Dude. That was a terrible idea, but it worked. Okay, now 
I don't want to. I don't. I don't want to do this fight with no HP now. Um, I'm a little worried, to be honest with you. I am. A, I'm a little bit worried. This might be a bad idea. This might be a really terrible idea, but I'm hoping I just do enough damage right away that it's okay. That it makes up for it. Please. Okay, I'm glad I don't have a lot of damage over time stuff. Okay, give me. Th that's not gonna help me very much. Ooh, okay, these three wax quills are coming in pretty clutch. Safer space is gonna definitely help me, and thank you for damaging yourself. I appreciate it. I don't know why you would ever choose to do that, but got my band back, got my feather back. This is looking, unless I make a critical error. Okay, Dios is back. There's no way. I, there's actually no universe I can lose. I forgot I had Dios that entire fight. Every time I'm close to, I forget I have Dios every time I play the game. So. <laughs> Maybe it's a good thing. Maybe it's a good thing I do. Because <laughs> I would probably be even more reckless, as shown right there. Well, there we go. There's Mithrix down. Mithrix is dead. He got cooked up. Thanks for watching, everybody. Wait, where, where'd he go? Is that him? No, that's, that's his little minion. Uh, I hope you had a good day. Hope you had a good time. More mods coming in the future, especially if you guys like it. I mean, I'm probably going to do it anyway. But that's it. Goodbye.